Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video of UiPath Data Services series, we have seen that how we can create an entity, how we can edit and manage the entities in the UiPath Data Services. We have seen how we can use the choice set and relationship with the UiPath Data Service. In this video, we are going to see how we can import the entities in the UiPath Studio. How do we manage the entities inside the UiPath Studio? And both of these steps we are going to see by the step-by-step -step demonstration. First step is I come to the UiPath data service inside my cloud.uipath.com. So these are the four entities which I have created as of now. So as you can see, we have invoices, invoice line items and all of these four entities. So these entities, two entities are having records and this last one is having zero records. So now let's try to use these entities in the UiPath studio. So how we can use in studio. First step is you can just click on use data service in the studio button is there and it and it will navigate us to a URL docs.uipath.com and it has all the steps which are required to connect the entities to the UiPath Studio. Okay, so let's get started. I quickly jump to UiPath Studio. I just create a new process. I call it sample entity process. Hit create. To use the entities inside the UiPath Data Studio, first thing is we should be connected to the same orchestrator tenant. We have enabled the data services. So as you can see, we are connected to the default tenant of the admin desktop service. If I go back to my cloud account, you will see admin desktop service is the one we have enabled the services for. Okay, so I can verify it by using the edit services. And this is the tenant where I have enabled this one. So I am connected to the correct tenant. Next, to use this, we have to click on this button which says manage entities. So as soon as I click on the manage entities, these are the button which which tells me that what are the actions it is going to happen. So for example, as of now, if I go back to my cloud account, I have four data entities and UiPath Studio is telling me that if I just select this one, this entity, it is going to add this entity. So the, this plus button means this entity will be imported in my entity. So for this demo purpose, I am just going to use the let's say the invoices entity okay so it is not going to add any of this entity so this is how we use and import the entities in the uipath studio so let's say if i want to use two entities i just select this one one more thing we can always go ahead and view the entities by clicking on this button and it will navigate us directly to the entity which we are referring in the uipath studio okay so we want to use this one it is having zero records and i can always go ahead and click this button to directly navigate to see all the entities which are available okay so let's try to import the invoices one and hit on save it says installing the entities on the sample entity process namespace so if you'll see my project name is sample entity process so now the by default namespace will be by sample entity process now if you'll see we have uh, just imported an entity now UiPath is telling me to install a package we have to import the package that will enable us to use the activities of the data services wizard so this is the package data uipath data service dot activities i go ahead and install this one and save so now all of the activities which are related to data services will be imported to my project so now as you can see i have uipath data service activity 20.10 available so what this dependency does if i go to my activities and if i collapse everything you will see there is an activity pack which is related to data service so these are the set of activities which are provided by the namespace we just imported so i've just imported the sample entity process here so if i go here you can see this is the this is the namespace name and this is the entity we have just imported now that we have just imported the entity called invoices in our UiPath studio let's see what happens if we do some of the changes in the data service so i go back to the data service wizard so this was the entity we have imported so let's say if i do some changes in the activity i open this and i create a new field which called new field and i hit save so now this entity is already being imported in the uipath studio and i have made some changes as you can see the last modified is few seconds ago so if i go back to the uipath studio now if i go to the manage entities and i click on invoices again so it says the entity will be removed from our project because i have unchecked this option okay so if i click save this entity will be removed from our process but if i again check it there are no changes now if I again check it and hit the refresh button 
so now it says a new entity version will be imported and updated in your project so this is because we have updated the entity in the data service itself so if i go ahead and uncheck again so this will be deleted so this is how uipath studio tell us that what is going to happen if i click on the save button so i'll just go ahead and get the updated things so i'll click here it says i'm going to update entity and hit on save now my entity is updated so whatever changes we do in the data services entity we can always come back to the uipath studio go to the manage entities hit the refresh button and then uipath studio will guide us what will happen if we click on the save button let's check one more scenario where if an entity is already being used in the uipath studio and we attempt to delete the entity from the data services so i go here i hit on delete and it is asking me to confirmation i'll just confirm invoices and delete okay the entity is deleted now if i go back to the uipath studio the uipath studio will not give in any error because i have not refreshed the entity so i can always go to the manage entities and refresh okay so now it has given me an error which says the entity is not longer available and it will be removed from my project okay so this is how uipath responds so i click on save entities will be removed and this may generate breaking changes would you like to continue okay yes so since i have deleted the entity from the uipath data services the entity is no longer available in my entity so again use the package i can always go to the manage packages hit the refresh button and this will guide me that what changes is going to happen if i just click on the save button so that was all about this video if you like this video please subscribe to the channel and in the coming part of the video we are going to use the entity in the uipath studio where we will be inserting the data into the entity getting the data from the entity and also query the data from the entity thank you for watching and happy automation